the Kronos Lopeter and uh, he will uh, he will talk about design of the node model according to Unix principles. Yeah. My name is Krono. I will talk about the node module design. The design according to the principles of development of the Unix operating system. Uh, given the scarcity of time and other resources, how can a individual developer approach complexity of software development? Well, uh, the technique of mastering complexity has been known since ancient times. Divide et impera, divide and rules, say Dijkstra in 1965, is the principle of decomposition. Uh, in 1969, during a few months, Thompson and Ricci developed the Unix operating system. Their design principles were make it simple and make each program do one thing well. That's simplicity, modularity, and reusability. Forty years later, Dahl developed Node.js. Uh, the Node philosophy encompasses two principles, a small core and ecosystem of small modules. That's Simplicity, modularity, and reusability again. A new technology, but the old principles. Well, how did I upgrade this simple web server to generate uh, HTML code according to those principles? Uh, uh, but not only the, the P tag hello uh, in the callback function. Not a minimal, but a simple solution. Uh, I didn't want to search for a solution in the NPM repository. Uh, I could handle it with my, uh, with my code in a short time. Uh, I had in mind a component with a simple interface uh, and structure uh, and no dependencies. Look, uh, look at my simple HTML code generator. Uh, it's a clean function packed in a module, uh, all its arguments are optional. The function, call it HTMLIs, has four arguments, content, title, style, and script. Content and title are dots by default. It's a module uh, without dependencies. I call it tiny HTMLizer. You can find it uh, on GitHub. Uh, if we require, the module and call its function, uh, the upgraded simple web server uh, will, uh, uh, will generate uh, an almost empty web page. Uh, the title and the contents are dots. Uh, this grammar produces uh, uh, valid code of that uh, almost empty uh, web page. Uh, var uh, variables, title, and contents uh, are the input values and uh, in unit testing, and uh, web page is the result. Uh, next is the example. Uh, uh, this is a, this is a, a simple web app uh, that shows the server response time, the backend logic and tests whether JavaScript is enabled, uh, the client logic. Uh, and uh, the variable style supplies a bit of CSS. Uh, this grammar produces uh, a valid code of uh, that JavaScript test page. Uh, title, style, script, and content in unit testing are input values and the web page is the result. And here's uh, my uh, module, uh, tiny HTMLizer. It exposes uh, uh, it exposes uh, uh, the HTML uh, function. Uh, the variables store uh, HTML tags. Uh, the function proce processes uh, uh, arguments. If style and uh, script uh, are not specified, uh, their tags are omitted uh, and uh, the function assembles and returns uh, the web page. Uh, as you can see, 
it's it's a it's a uh, it's a, m a simple module with a focused functionality, uh, and um, and uh, I will specify uh, I will specify a new uh, uh, model. I will specify uh, uh, sorry. Uh, my five minutes. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, and the last slide. I will specify a new module for a, a new functionality. Uh, uh, instead of questions, a short discussion. Uh, there isn't uh, a universal approach uh, to software development. There isn't a silver bullet, as uh, said Fred Brooks. Uh, and um, I could uh, uh, move the HTML type, uh, HTMLIS function from the module to the app. Uh, uh, and to conclude, uh, an individual developer can design uh, simple modules to avoid complexity uh, and iterate and increment in short cycles in, this, in, uh, in, the, in the software process. It worked for the Unix creators and me. It can work uh, uh, for you and may God and source be with you. Okay. <laughs>